Dear students, welcome to Bluepen Online. Shall we begin? Please use headset, pen and paper to take notes. Here you go. Please let's know your feedback after class. The next topic is KD's risk assessment. So this is also commonly asked question as well as this is one of the important part of under dental KD's. Caries risk assessment can be defined as a procedure to predict future caries development before the clinical onset of the disease. So it does mainly to predict the future caries development because there are certain uh, children who will be more prone to caries. So in order to determine that, we do caries risk assessment. So this is to uh, it fosters the treatment of the disease process instead of treating the outcome of the disease. allows an understanding of the disease factors for a specific patient and aids in individualizing preventive discussions and individualizes selects and determines frequency of preventive and restorative treatment for a patient and dissipates caries progression or stabilization then there are caries risk indicators which are variables that are thought to cause a disease directly so these risk factors will include existing dk socio economic status education level of the parents number and type of between meal exposure to fermentable carbohydrates then habit of strong storing food in the mouth by not swallowing coming to some of the kds risk assessment methods so one of the kds risk assessment method is a kds risk assessment tool tool so it is also called as cart uh, sorry cat so some people call it also has camera which is a uh, management which includes a management pathway so first kds risk assessment tool this is developed by aapd in 2006 depending on the age of children cat will incorporate three factors in assessing kds risk namely biological as well as protective factors and clinical findings we'll see that so this basically in mold risk factors protective factors and clinical findings so under risk factors we need to ask or see whether the mother or primary caregiver has got active dental caries whether uh, there is a lifetime of poverty or low health literacy frequent exposure between making sugar containing snacks or beverages uh, per day then whether the child use bottle or non spill cup containing natural added sugar so all these factors will come under high risk category and moderate risk if the child is a recent immigrant and has got special health care needs low risk category under the protective factors if uh, the child receive fluoridated drinking water fluoride supplement brush daily with fluoridated toothpaste topical fluoride is obtained from health professional or use dental home or regular dental care and if the clinical findings shows the child has got non cavitative caries or enamel defects the child has visible cavities or fillings or missing teeth due to caries child has visible plaque on teeth so all these category will come under high risk so this is a caries risk assessment for 0 to 5 years so there are also caries risk assessment more than for children more than 5 years also with slight difference in that so based on these category we, by overall assessment we can categorize the child as high moderate as well as low risk category and why we have to categorize as high moderate low is mainly because of giving the further treatment so this as i said caries risk assessment for children more than 6 years so this will have very less number of items included so the questions are regarding the uh, bottle use will be uh, will not be there in this category but almost every other questions remains the same except then uh, clinical findings the patient has more than one interproximate caries will come under high risk and the patient has got defective restorations and patient wears an intraoral uh, appliance will come under moderate risk kerogram is another caries risk assessment method the please do not uh, please note down this uh, kerogram can also be asked for uh, exam this is a one of the method in uh, to illustrate the interaction between caries related factors the educational interactive program has been developed for better understanding of the multi factor aspects of dental caries and to act as a guide in the attempts to estimate the caries risk so this will have certain factors and items in this so the yellow color will depict the circumstances and blue color susceptibility 
red color bacteria and violet color will depict the diet and green color is the actual chance to avoid new cavities so by giving all the information and data to the computer computer will make a pie diagram so more the green color there is more chance to avoid new cavities so there will be around 11 questions or uh, there will be around 3 to 4 questions in each category which will be uploaded into a computer so this is about the kerogram traffic light matrix so this is another kerogram risk assessment uh, method this is based on 19 criteria in five different categories including saliva plaque diet fluoride exposure and modifying factors So the traffic light colors will convey varying risk levels like a red, high, yellow, moderate, green, yellow. So the objective is to allow the clinician regarding the current risk status. So this color code will uh, model will keep the visual interpretation simple and communicable to the patient as well. So as I said, it will have red, yellow, and uh, green color codes. Red is for high risk, yellow for moderate risk, green for low risk. 